I know it's been a few days since I've posted anything, anything, but um, I've been sick with a sinus infection. So, like the first day that I have off from school for the for the holiday break, I get a sinus infection. I finally am recovering from it, and I'm, today I'm supposed to get an RSV shot. I was going to get it combined with the COVID shot, but the pharmacies that I tried to contact, they were not open. And so I'm going to do those separately. And hopefully I don't have anything worse than a sore arm uh, when I get the RSV shot. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's a lot of weird shit going on in the news. And of course, the funniest is the one that we on the Democrats, we Democrats or liberals or whatever... Uh, need to watch out for it because we might have to be careful what we wish for. And of course that has to do with old Trump and the Colorado Supreme Court. And they said because of his uh, role in the insurrection back in January 6, 2021, um, he, he is ineligible to be on the ballot uh, in Colorado, whether it's the primary or the general election. The trouble is uh, the definition of what an insurrection is and also the fact he hasn't so far been convicted of anything. So I don't see it uh, being upheld when it goes in front of the United States Supreme Court. Now, the U.S. Supreme Court, despite its obvious corruption, sometimes it surprises you, but I think here, nah, they're going to they're going to uh, side with him, and it's actually a good thing for Dems, because I don't want to see Nikki Haley being the nominee. I think she has a better shot against Biden, although, because she's a woman and she's of color, that those are two strikes against her to even be nominated. So that's, that's the big thing. And then um, there, were, there was a problem with the... Uh, some of the justices on that Colorado court getting death threats and all kinds of things. The one thing you never do as a private citizen is you do not make any threats whatsoever against a public official. Whether it's an elected public official or whether it's a public employee, you do not make threats. And that, and that is something some ditzy, washed-up actor needs to understand. That you cannot... Um, do you cannot say things like this? And old John Schneider, he was popular back in the 80s and such with that. Uh, oh Christ, can't remember the name of it. Um, oh, what the hell was it called? God damn, what was the name of that show? Dukes of Hazard, yeah, that was a long time ago. And he's 63 now, and anyway, he's gone off the deep end and he called for Joe Biden and his son. Hunter to be publicly hanged. Hung is something else altogether. It's hanged. So the guy ha should look up his words before he even uses them. Furthermore, should not be calling for violence against the President of the United States and his son. So he's getting uh, investigated by the Secret Service. Yeah, you don't do it. Doesn't matter if you don't like what he's doing. You don't call for that. And especially if you're a public figure. And then he had this tweet or something and he thought, well, I could just delete it. Well, if you're a public figure and you tweet something, count on somebody screenshooting whatever it is you've said. And of course it was screenshot and the screenshot was shared. And even if it wasn't screenshot, it's still, it's still somewhere in the internet universe. Because nothing ever really gets deleted. If you have the right um, access to it and the right tools, you can bring up anything. So that was that was the end of that. And then, um, then it's been a horror show about overturning Roe, as we know. Uh, it's, get, it's getting worse and worse and worse. And the thing is, the worse it gets for women, the more these anti-abortion nutcases... Dig in. They want to punish women for having illicit sex. They think they can bring back the 1950s patriarchy and all that other shit. 
that was so bad <clears throat> that I have no desire to relive. And as I've said, I was born in the middle of the decade. <clears throat> I don't have clear, really clear, first-hand memories <clears throat> of what the 50s was like. <clears throat> Nobody would under, under the age of 75 or 80. And probably more like 80. Anybody that's around that age and older would have memories of it. Meaningful memories. But anybody younger than that, no. But the 60s, I do. And the early 60s was very much like the 50s. With all the teenage marriages and shotgun marriages and limits on women's education and women being forced to give up, give up their babies for adoption if they were unmarried, especially if they were teenagers, and all the stigma attached to single women especially. And, of course, gay people were jailed and all could be jailed if they were caught. And all this, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing good about it, okay? And even, even if there, all of that didn't, women still participated in the labor force in the 50s, all through that decade. But it was a certain type, it was middle, upper class, that, oh, it was men made enough money that women didn't have to get a job. And so, ah, it, it was just a crap era. But this, this is what these, these whack jobs want is when returning all of that, that double standard, that sexual double standard. They want to bring all that back. And they're, they're, just, they're just losing it. They know they have, have no support among the great majority of the American people never did have it. It's, this is all about getting the, uh, relying on low voter participation off your elections and just hanky panky to get these um, these whack jobs elected in these states to penalize women further and it's just it isn't coming back virginity it's saving yourself from marriage that isn't coming back no way in hell women will just not even bother with men at all and they're not and anyway um, fewer and fewer of them are and let's see, where in the hell is that? Yeah, South Korea. Can you believe this? This is how they want to uh, raise the birth rate there. They want to host blind dates for young women. So this is kind of that sexual redistribution crapola of Robin Hanson uh, trying to make it so every man has a woman he can force himself on sexually and clean up his mess. <laughs> I don't think this is going to work. But the, South Korea's got, I think, about the lowest fertility rate in the world. Well, they don't have a lot of space in that country. If you've looked at a map, they're pretty damn dinky. That's a pretty tiny country. It can't really support an unlimited population anyway. But they're worried about, you know, not enough workers and all this other crap. But it ain't going to work. And feminism has gotten real popular in that state, in that country. And then, oh, this is not it. See, what else do we have? Uh, yeah, they are going to arrest women who, um, and they are doing it, who have abortions. There's no question they're going to do this. They want a shame. They want to bring back the shame that was so popular in the 50s. They want to bring that back. They want so badly, and, and they think they're going to win it. They're not going to win it. No, it's never going back to that. But Anyway, um, gosh, what else was I going to talk about? Maybe this was everything. Gosh, damn, I think I got... I think I got everything I wanted to say, and I got it done under 10 minutes. So, anyhow, this is going to be about it for me uh, for the next few days. Uh, there's no family except my brother that will be around here for Christmas uh, because everybody's spread out. I've talked, had a video about that, and I kind of miss the old days when we were all together and stuff, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to go back to watching my DVDs. 
that is it.